Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, we are talking about what is in the treasure in Madden Manor. This is very, very similar to Ghostly Gardens, and I'm gonna have a lot of videos kind of this weekend and into next week that I completely fouled off what I did for Ghostly Gardens. We did what's behind the cellar door. Today is going to be the same thing. It's going to be what is in the treasure. We're gonna be talking about it. I know exactly what's in the treasure and how you're gonna be able to get there. We'll talk about that as well. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 100, 200 likes, 200 likes, let's try to get that. If you guys haven't seen already, on Saturday, this Saturday, I'm doing a charity live stream. October 17th super super excited if you want more information please join the link in my description join my discord from you know like I said if you want some more information for that and I hope to see you guys on October 17th this Saturday Madden Manor we are uh, a few hours in I'm recording this about I would say probably four hours uh, since the promo came out and I'm enjoying it I'm having some fun and I will admit I did buy the starter bundle because I wanted to get this Fletcher Cox done it's going to be helpful what I'm going to try to do is try to sell all of the masks get all the masks by getting one selling the next and then rebuying the cards and things uh, to get the next master if that makes sense so that's gonna be my goal throughout this promo I'm trying to get every single master um, but we're talking about the bookshelves we're talking about the kind of hidden treasure chest the East treasure here um, what's going to be in it so first of all let's talk about how you're going to get it um, with these kind of events down here you're going to be getting some letters and these letters are going to go into sets to spell words so let's go to sets you guys will see that there's these four things here to unlock this treasure chest you do have to complete all four of these bookshelf sets as you can see all of them have kind of five letters and they're kind of hidden but these are the different words they're going to spell um, because they actually do end up spelling some words so you need all the letters the first one spells yards y-a-r-d-s the second one is going to spell downs d O W and S. The third one is going to spell catch C A T C H. And the last one is going to spell drive D R I V E. If you complete all four of those, then that's going to unlock the treasure chest. And like I said, you're going to get those collectibles, those kind of letters by playing events down here. Make sure to play at least each first win of these events. They're 25 stamina each. They refresh, they kind of rotate every four hours. And like I said, on first win, you're going to get an automatic letter. You're going to get some plaques as well. And then, you know, uh, subsequent chances to get more letters for more plays. Um, so play each of the first wins. You're going to get some letters and do those sets. Once you have all four of those sets done, then you're going to be able to do this set, which is going to, first of all, give you that key. We saw that kind of thing. If you haven't already, claim your key from uh, Ghostly Gardens. If you got that, you actually get a free 85 to 86 manor player, which is really, really cool. It gives you a big head start, or if you want to sell it, it's like a million coins, close to, depending on who you get. So uh, that's really, really nice, and I'm expecting we'll get something like that but it does return you your key so if you're gonna get all the keys in these three promos I'm sure you're gonna get some sort of big reward at the end of the kind of the three promos and most feared hopefully the next promo so you guys I'm sure this is what you're here for what is in this treasure chest I know exactly what's in it so once you open the treasure chest, you're going to get the key. You're going to get the manor key, which will be unlocked for something else for the next promo. You're also going to get, this is huge, this is different, a little bit different from Ghost of the Gardens, a select 85 to 86 manor player. And some of the cards are going for a lot of coins, ex uh, including, I believe, the 86 needed for Fletcher Cox set, because I actually had to buy it, is going for like 2 million coins. Ryan Jensen, you need for the Fletcher Cox set, you will see that this card, all the other ones go for like, you know, a million, maybe 1.5 if you're lucky. This one goes for like 2.2 million. Obviously, the best way to get cards for these sets are going to be bid sniping. Um, that'll be 100% your best way of getting these cheaper, unless you can get really lucky. But like, a select, you can get your yourself 2 million if you can complete that set today so make sure that's super good but the other thing you're going to get is six will-o'-wisps rather than the nine and that's because each time you complete one of those bookshelves sets you're going to get a will-o'-wisp so it still adds up to the 10 you're going to get for kind of being completely free to play the the four from completing the bookshelf sets and then the extra six from that so to recap you're going to get an 85 to 86 select manor player in the chest you're going to get uh six will-o'-wisps and then you're also going to get the key used for whatever the next 
next few promos are. So very, very simple. And that is what you're going to be getting in it. It's very good, especially the 85 to 86. That's a big one. That's a lot better than what we had before. And that's something you're absolutely want to go for, going to want to go for. And I don't think it's going to be too hard at all. Literally just playing some events. I've spent maybe, you know, some gems on some, on 200 stamina. Uh, but to be able to get those books, that's going to be pretty big for you. And that's going to unlock a lot of good stuff for this promo if you do want to get some of that stuff done. I figured this would be a little bit of a shorter video. There's really not too much to talk about. Just telling you exactly what's in it and kind of how to get it. We will have a lot of videos coming over the next few days. Tomorrow, you will probably see how to get Will-O-Wisps. If you saw this video, you already know, really. It's not that hard. But I still like to make the videos. It did fantastic for Ghostly Garden, so I'm going to do it again for this promo. But, guys, that is just about it for the video. Today's post-notification shout-out goes out to Basketball Dog 13 Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post-notification shout-out. But, anyways, guys, that is just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'm Goose TV, and I'm out. I will see you guys later.